trying to keep my head straight get up on the next hey guys day. welcome back to my channel uh if this is your first time here hello my name is spike and today i'm going to be doing a pop-up reading and i've only ever done this once in the past and it was like a pick a card and i wasn't super confident with reading so i did a lot of like reading the definitions from the book and trying to figure out what that means and i'm not gonna do this time this time i'm not the best with tarot cards i don't know like all of the meanings and all of the zodiac signs behind every freaking card and everything but what i'm gonna do is i'm going to read based on my intuition and yeah and it's just gonna be one shot i'm not having you pick a crystal i'm not having you pick anything if you stumble upon this and you feel like it's for you cool and if not it's okay but yeah and so i have my cards i'm only going to be using one of my decks and i'm using the modern witch tarot deck um just because i've been really rocking with this one right now and i can feel that it wants me to use it and then i have some charms and i have some channeled messages um i don't have that many channeled messages so I'm not gonna pull a lot because I have like not that many and I don't if I guess if I show them to you all, oh, it doesn't make sense. But I will be getting more of those. I'm gonna work more through this and I don't know. I think I would like to learn more about the decks and like what they mean. But I think that the best way to start is to literally just do intuition-based readings. If there's a card that I'm like, yeah, I really would like to know what that means, then okay, cool. But if I'm not feeling called to do that, and if I feel like I know what the meaning of the message is, I'm just gonna roll with that. And I've studied a lot of readers. That's how I've learned what I have learned. And a lot of the times, even if a reader is like super like, like super good super knows all of the cards sometimes they'll be like this is what this card means but this isn't what i'm feeling from this card at this moment so i'm going to feel what i feel from the cards because that's what's important to me okay so let's get into it okay so i shut what i want i don't care oh my goodness okay i was I wasn't ready to take cards yet. The spirit said, yes, you are. How do you want this? Okay. So, let me get a few cards out here for you. Um, right now we have the chariot in reverse. Which is interesting, because the last reading I did, I also got the chariot in reverse. But, um, I want to start out with... Whoa! Okay. I'm going to start out with, I'm not taking these ones, mm. I'm going to start out with your past, your present, and the future of the situation, along with clarifiers, and an advice card, and then I'll go from there. So, right now, your past is the chariot in reverse, your present is the three of cups, and I'm looking for your future in this situation. Okay, drops everything. It's totally my style. We have the eight of swords, we have the emperor for a clear here. No. The advice card. Okay. Let me pull one more advice card. Is what I'm hearing. So let's go. Whoa. Okay. Cool. The Hermit in reverse. But we also got that for the last one. This is interesting. I wonder if this is like collective energy. The King of Wands also fell out, but they said put that shit back. So here we are. Um. Okay. So, can I get a clarifier for the chariot in reverse, please, spirit? Page of Pentacles. Cool, cool. Wow, this is interesting, because the last, like, group, um, at first, like, the energies were not really wanting to flow. Yours are 
popping out. Go ahead, please talk to this person. Okay, clarifier for the Three of Cups, please. Clarifier for the Three of Cups, please. Interesting, okay. The Moon. And for the Eight of Swords, we actually got the Ten of Swords. And then the Emperor. Can I get a clarifier for the... Ooh, Emperor. Thank you, Nine of Swords. Can I get a clarifier for the Hermit in Re... Oh my goodness. For the hermit in reverse the world okay yay um okay so we got the two of wands on the back of the deck i'm gonna start here this feels like what i need to start with okay um i'm just going to connect with the earth real quick with this rock uh, it's a hagstone i can see the little hole i like to do it like this because then it's like a little yes anxiety. I also heard the word anxiety when I closed my eyes. Um, what's up with you? So, for your past, we have the chariot in reverse, and here's the chariot. And you're angry about something. I don't know what you're angry about, but you're fucking pissed. Or you were fucking pissed in the past. Because, like, okay, so the chariot, like, this is supposed to be a wand. I'm saying that as a knife. And I'm saying, like, you felt like someone wronged you. And you're ready to fucking fight them over them wronging you. I also feel like you were very unbalanced in this past. Um, I just want to... This might be a tough message. Like, I'm, I'm not going to hold you. This might be tough, so, like... If you're not ready to hear this, if you don't feel like this is for you, click off now. Because I'm not going to sugarcoat anything for anyone. So, if this message feels like it's going to be hard, I would strongly suggest that you click off now. If you don't feel like you are ready to hear it. I don't feel like any tarot readings are bad, but I feel like sometimes... Love can be tough, and I feel like this might be some tough love. So in the past, you were really angry, really unbalanced, and you felt really wronged. And really ready to fight. You wanted to hurt someone. You wanted to physically hurt someone. That's how angry you were. And, like... Uh, her skin is, like, this pink color, but I'm just seeing, like, a fiery red. Like, a fiery red aura. Like, angry. Like... All I see is anger in red right now. And to clarify it is the page of pentacles, which makes me feel like you feel like someone took an opportunity from you. And also the rose tinted glasses, like, I don't feel like this was your opportunity though, I'm going to be honest. I feel like you saw someone else's success, you saw someone else's opportunity, and you wanted it to be yours. And when they got it, you felt angry because you felt like that was yours, but you didn't work for it. It wasn't yours, it was theirs, and so you feel owed this pentacle. I'm not expecting that. And this is your past, so like, I just want to say, this could be, this is tough energy. I wasn't expecting such tough energy. My lord. Okay. Um. Your present. Is the three of cups. And. I see. Right now you're in this energy of avoidance you're avoiding the actual problem in your life you're avoiding what you actually like need to know you're avoiding the solution and the answers to whatever it is that you want right now and you're going out with friends you're drinking 
you're, which is okay. I just want to say drinking is okay. Going out with friends is okay. But you're doing it in a way that's like, it's a distraction. It's avoidance. You're not facing the actual problems in your life. And I think that the thing that would actually help you, because this is your clarifier, is the moon. So I think that the thing that would actually help you find resolution to this issue in your past, to you feeling wronged by these pentacles to being taken from you, for this opportunity being taken from you, the this thing that made you so angry that you wanted to hurt someone over it, that's the thing that like boggles my mind is what, what could have happened to make you want to hurt someone? Like... What made you so angry that you wanted to hurt someone? I like wasn't ready for this energy to be this like intense. Your energy is intense. I feel like you're a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, but the thing that can actually help you bring balance in your life to flip this chariot card upside, right side up is the moon connecting with spirit dancing naked in the moonlight literally or figuratively but and also ooh, i've never noticed this on this card this is so cool oh my gosh okay so down here is like this little like person in the water this like completely black entity i feel like that represents your shadow i think the thing that's going to bring you clarity, that's going to bring you happiness, is confronting your shadow. And connecting with the moon, connecting with earth. But you have to, you have to look at the parts of yourself you don't like. Because there's a lot of parts of yourself you don't like. I can see it. I can see it in your cards. You might be sitting here. I feel like you're sitting in ego right now. So you might be sitting here and I'm saying this and you're like, no, I love myself. I can see it right now, you can't lie to me. Like, there are parts of yourself that you were extremely uncomfortable with and you're being really avoidant of those things. And if you don't confront those things, it's gonna get worse, because this, this is not helping you. This is, this is hurting you. So that is, that's the energy in right now. For your future card, I have Eight of Swords, which her swords are drawn, she can't touch them, she's tied up, she's blindfolded, she can't see anything. So I feel, I don't feel like this is a bad thing, I feel like you may feel like it's a bad thing, but in your future, you're going to feel tied up. You're going to feel blindfolded. You're going to feel like you're tied up and blindfolded with your weapons around you, but they're out of reach. And that's because you shouldn't be going to weapons. You shouldn't be going to swords. You don't need the swords. The swords are keeping you stuck. What you need is to confront yourself. What you need is to sit in this feeling of all of these swords being in your back. Ten of swords. Um... Which I think is interesting because she has all these swords in her, but like, she's focused on her phone. She's focused on her phone instead of pulling these swords out of her. You need to focus on these swords in your back. You need to pull these swords out of your back and get off of your phone. Because your phone's not helping you. You need... <laughs> these material things, your phone, social media, and I feel like... With the phone, I feel like, I feel like anytime someone tells you something you don't want to hear, anytime someone gives you tough love, you cut them off. You're very cutthroat, which is a good thing. But I feel like in this instance, there are people that actually love you, that actually want to see good things happen to you. But you're not listening. And... When they tell you, hey, you're fucking up, you cut them off. But the thing is, you feel like they're the ones putting these swords in your back. 
but it's not them, it's you. So you need to draw your swords, you need to take these out of your back, draw your swords, and walk into the uncomfortability of this. Because you'll actually see... Because I don't think you're a bad person. I think you're going through like a dark night of the soul. I think you're going through a time where you're confronting... You're going through a period where you need to confront the parts of yourself that you don't like. I know I just said that, but like... That's what's happening now. All of these things that you don't like, and I think you're saying it in others. I think that every time you cut someone else off, they are telling you what you don't like about yourself. And you're convincing yourself that that's what they're doing. You're convincing yourself that, oh my gosh, they're being so fake, they're being so this, but like, you are. You're being, that's how you're acting, and that's okay because we all get into it. We all get into the, like, the thing is, like, e with ego deaths, like, I think people think that, like, they can have an ego death, and they'll have, like, one ego death, and they're like, my ego, it's gone, I'm good. No, nah. those bitches grow back. You don't kill the ego forever. And so, you have to keep experiencing ego deaths, you have to keep experiencing your shadow, you have to walk in your shadow, which I think is very interesting, because the last reading I did, the person was very in their shadow and you're very afraid of your shadow and so I just think it's so interesting that I like I turned into two totally opposite sides of the spectrum right here like this is crazy but um I think that I think I don't think you're a bad person I don't think that like you're evil I think that you have like a good heart I just think that you're not accessing like you're not allowing yourself to access, like, your prime. You're not allowing yourself to, to be in tune with that because you're so scared of your shadow. You're so scared of confronting the parts of yourself you don't like. Um, I really recommend shadow work journal entries because they have helped me a lot. Um, I will have to try to find it, but there's, like, a friend of mine sent me this shadow the shadow like work the shadow work book and it was like 30 different entries that you could do every day for shadow work and I mean like these hurt me like I can't even like I'm not gonna tell you it was easy I cried writing sometimes like these things hurt they hurt to experience they hurt for me to like, do but I did it because I wanted to I wanted to walk in that part of myself. I wanted to stop liking, I wanted to stop not liking a part of myself because I, I would look in the mirror and I would see that part of myself. I would see that ego and I, I didn't like it. And so I did the work and I did the things that hurt me to try and break free of that. And I think that that's something that would really benefit you right now. And I think it's going to hurt a lot, but I think it'll be very beneficial highly recommend it so for your advice we have the emperor and i'm getting earth energy with this um i don't like i'm still learning tarot i'm still learning the meanings of cards but i think that the best way to learn is to intuitively feel because i think that while the meanings of cards help you they can also hurt you if you're going so super deep into, like, definition of cards. Because, like, the cards will tell you how they feel. And it may not always be, like, the definition of the card that, like, you... It may... The definition of the card may not be the best for the reading at the time. So, like, I don't know. I don't know, like, the zodiac signs for every, um, card... But I'm just getting heavy Taurus energy right now with this card. So, heavy Taurus and heavy fire. Because, like, this red, like, this red suit. And I told you I was seeing red in the first one. Like, I just saw red. I could see, I could see red, like. And I think that, so I'm getting heavy, like, what the heck was that? Oh my gosh, my nose is so itchy. 
That's one thing I hate about channeling. Jeez Louise. Okay. That's a, I take that as a good sign though. I think me having an itchy nose, like, I think you will have success. Um, but you could be a fire sign or an earth sign. So Aries, Leo, Sag, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I think you ultimately are the emperor. And I think you just gotta cool down because I'm seeing so much like hot, fiery, angry energy. And I, but like her throne, their throne, they look non-binary as fuck. It's, it looks like ice. I believe it is stone, but I'm seeing ice right now. So I think you just need to cool down. I think you need to maybe talk about whatever it was that made you so mad. The person that made you so mad. Like, not talk about it. Because I think that you have been talking about it. I think you hyper-focus on it. I think... I think that you saw yourself having this career opportunity with someone. Because this feels like career. You may... And maybe... Maybe it was a partner, too. Like, maybe... It could be a business partner, it could be a romantic partner, it could have been both, but I think they cut you off because you weren't being your authentic self, and I think it made you angry, and I think you said, I'm gonna do it without you, fuck you, and I think you were so angry you wanted to hurt them, and I think that, I think that you put all of your, in your, I think you put all of your energy into beating them. Ooh. And I think that depleted your energy. I think that that depleted your inspiration because you weren't working on the things you loved like you once were because you loved them. You were you were working to try to beat this person. And I think you saw them being successful and now you don't know what to do. I think you, you see them walking into success right now. And so you're avoiding it. You're like, well, I couldn't beat them, so I'm just going to go get fucked up. But I think that... I think you want to be in their life again. I think you really want to be in their life again. And I think that that's what's worrying you, is you don't feel like they're going to allow you to come back. And... I don't know your situation. I'm not even picking up on that. And honestly, I don't really want to go into that because I don't think that's important right now. I think that you need to figure out how to be your own emperor. I think you should, I think you should do shadow work, absolutely. But I think you should also make a list of um, goals that you have for your business, for whatever this is. Things that you actually liked doing that you did for yourself, not because of this person. Because I see that you both had like your own, you had your, you both had your own things. And I think that you convinced yourself that the things that they did for themselves, the things that they wanted to do, I think you convinced yourself that those were the things you wanted to do, but I don't think they actually were. So I think you need to have a sit down, a heart to heart with yourself and figure out what it is you actually want to do. I think it will not only cool you down, it will help you get to this emperor energy. Because you are an emperor. You just have to figure out how to get back up there, baby. And the clarifier for that is the nine of swords. I think that while you go through this shadow work, there's going to be a lot of long nights. There may be nightmares. Laying in bed crying. But the swords are all in a row. They're all above the bed. Which, um, I don't know what significance of swords laying, like, hanging above your bed is. But I know that, um, a cactus by your bed is a really good tool for protection. Uh, funny story here. <laughs> My ex... Whenever, like, <laughs> I have this big cactus. I actually, um, he is, you can see him in my plant video, uh, Wig's Plant Tour, just a video plug there. But, uh, his name's Spike, and he's massive. He's this big ball, and he has these huge spikes on him. 
and when I got that um, plant, I was living with my ex, and my ex and I, like, in our bedroom, we had a bedside table, but it was on my ex's side of the bed, not my side of the bed, because I slept next to the wall, and so I put <laughs> the cactus, I put the cactus on the bedside table for protection, because cacti are good for protection, and he has some big spikes, so I was like, big protection, and my ex was like, what the fuck are you doing, and I'm like, what? He's like, a cactus by the bed? That's so unsafe. And why has it got to be on my side of the bed? And I'm just like, I hadn't thought about, like, the 3D at all. I was, like, specifically thinking about, like, spirituality and stuff. And so it was just, it was funny. It was funny getting that perspective of things. And, um, yeah, I didn't end up keeping that cactus next to the bed there. That was, that was not, um. A decision we agreed on but I I don't know why I thought about that I think it's funny but um oh that okay so I don't know what swords next to the bed um as a, are significantly but I feel like I don't know the significance of that I don't know the meaning of that but I feel like it could be similar where these swords are above your bed you're crying you're upset you're having nightmares but you were protected in all of this, all of this pain and hurt that you're experiencing. You're protected. It's safe. It's safe for you to feel. I'm also really, really hungry. Like, out of nowhere, it just hit me, like, the want to eat everything in the fucking world. So, um, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a, like, anything. Um, I'm also not going to say that people, like, are having problems with things, um, trigger warning, eating disorder, but I'm just being to call to say this, if you're restricting on food right now to try to make yourself feel better, please eat, please eat, like, healthy things, um, I've struggled with eating, I still struggle with eating, um, because here's the thing, you don't grow out of an eating disorder, you learn how to handle it. And so, if you're struggling with eating right now, if you're struggling with food, please, please, eat something healthy. Eat something like, it's, not eating is making all of these feelings and everything feel so much worse. And it could be anxiety that's triggering it, it could be depression, it could be whatever, but it's going to, it's making things feel worse and eating snacks or eating healthy foods to fuel your, fuel your body will actually help help you get out of like this this feeling of sadness and darkness around you um, I'm also like feeling cold which um, <laughs> which is weird because like in the last reading I did I took my hoodie off because I was like sweating and I'm freezing um so I feel like you're feeling weak I'm, I'm feeling the weakness that you're feeling you're feeling really weak and you're feeling really cold and I think that you need to like I think focusing on self-care will help a lot I think that um maybe like if you decide to do the shadow entries because like I can I can only give you tools I can't do the work for you but um if you, like, I think that you should reward yourself for doing the shadow work entries. So I think, like, do a shadow work entry and then, like, do something for self-care after, like, a bubble bath or, like, making yourself a nice smoothie. Something that will make you feel fulfilled. Um, going out into nature. Okay, so the other thing, um, the other advice card I have for you is the hermit which is in reverse so I feel like I talked about this with the three of cups but like you're going out partying you're not you're not focusing on yourself I also talked about the ten of so this with the ten of swords with the phone um the hermit she's closing that laptop she's getting away from social media this is reverse so you're doing the opposite so I think you need to go into hermit energy. I also think you should look into 
stars and star seeds. Um, only if that resonates with you. I also think that uh, I'm just now noticing she's not wearing shoes, so maybe I think not wearing shoes can help ground you, maybe? And I know she's inside, but I'm feeling called to say um, going outside and maybe hiking or <laughs> everyone hates when you talk about hiking on the internet, but going outside and touching grass with your feet connecting your root, using your root to connect to the earth and the earth's energies, I think it'll help you a lot. So I would highly recommend at least standing outside barefoot, putting your feet in the mud. I love putting my feet in the mud. I love like barefoot hiking whenever I really feel like I need to connect. So those are what I would work to recommend to you. And the clarifier for that is the world, which I'm also, like, Taurus is coming up again, so I don't know if you have Taurus energy, but, um, yeah. Um, but, oh, she's naked. I might get in trouble for that. I didn't think about that. <laughs> and let me, let me censor my tarot card. See, that's so lame, though. But, um, with this, I'm just getting, like, the world is... The world is your oyster. The world is like yours. You have success. You have your own success. You just have to disconnect and go into hermit mode and do the work because right now you're avoiding the work. And if you do the work, you have abundance. You have good things coming to you. Especially with the back of the deck being like the two of wands. Like, and she has her phone. If you notice, like, she has her phone, but she's not looking at it. She's looking out at the scenery around her. She's looking out at the water. And, um, and there's water in one, two, three, four of these cards. So I think water could help you. It could also be a water sign. Cancer's Pisces Scorpio, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but I'm really feeling honestly like fire, like fire and earth is what I'm giving, getting heaviest from all of this. Um, but yeah, get out in nature, ignore that phone, and tap into your magic. Um, okay, let's keep going. Let's see what else. Spirit has to say. Your energy is a little harder to read. I feel like you're more resistant. Because the last one, like, I could literally, like, they were letting me just read their whole life. Like, they were, like, not caring. You seem more reserved, which I think is interesting. But also, the cards are flying out a lot faster. But, like, the messages are more subtle. It took me a while to understand what was happening in your life. It's like you didn't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about, like, I feel like you feel like there's some, there's something in your life that feels like a massive loss, and you don't want to accept that it happened, so you're, like, being avoidant of it, but at the same time, you're hyper-focusing on whoever this is. You're taking every chance to talk about them. But, like... And it's interesting because I feel like you you talk negatively of them, but I don't think you actually view them negatively. I think you view them very highly. And I think that you just want them in your life. And you're hurt. 
Thank you. I would do anything to have them back. My, my only advice is if they're really meant to be in your life, if they're really a part of your, like, if, because here's the thing, some relationships are just a part of the path, and they're there to teach you to, to about where you're going and how to get there. And there are some relationships that you are, like, meant to go through and are meant to be there for the long haul. And they ebb and flow. And if you, like, like, I don't know. Sometimes you have to, like, separate from people to learn lessons on your own. So if this is a lesson you have to learn on your own and the person is supposed to come back, it'll happen. And I feel like some of you, the person might come back. I feel like some of you, the person will come back. And I feel like some of you, it was just to get to where you're going. And I feel like Spirit doesn't even want to focus on that right now because that's not the issue at hand. And... They don't want to give you an answer on this. They don't want to give you clarity on this because they don't want you to hyper focus on this. They want you to focus on yourself. And if you don't like, I think they feel like if they give you an answer, good or bad, you're going to hyper focus. You're not going to listen to what you need to do. You're not going to take care of yourself. You're going to worry about that person. And that's not what you need right now. Okay, so. I have the tower in reverse. Whew, I have not ever actually like really looked at this tower card. This is interesting. Oh, um, this is the Modern Witch Tarot deck, by the way. Um, I'm not super. I'm, I'm, I'm learning this deck. I've had the same deck since I was 15 or 16. So. Um, I'm learning this deck. Um, I, I've, I, like, the deck that I've always had, the cards aren't, like, traditional. Like, I have rods instead of wands. Um, so I thought it was important for me to get a more traditional deck. Um, I also want to say, people who say you can't buy your own tarot cards, that's bullshit. Because a lot of people don't have spiritual people in their lives to buy their cards for them. So, um, you do not have to be gifted all of your cards. But I bought this deck for myself to try to, like, learn a more traditional tarot, I guess. Which, people might argue that this isn't, isn't traditional because, like, it's all technology-based and gender-bent. But, um, I just mean, like, the names of things are, like, the traditional names. Um, but, I don't know why I'm getting so off focus. I feel like your attention span has been poor recently, because my attention span is really poor right now. And I feel like you need grounding. I just feel grounding. I think that you have a tower moment in your life, and you're not accepting this tower moment. Like, you're, like, literally falling out of this tower, and you're like, I'm not gonna fall out of this tower, I'm not gonna accept it. So I feel like that's right in reverse. It's like... You're literally trying to prolong a tower moment. You're trying to prolong the end of something in your life. You're trying to hold on to something that isn't even there anymore because you're not. You feel like you're going to be a failure if you let go of it. You feel like without it you're a failure, but I think that you have to let go of it to actually, like, if this is a relationship whatever it was, wherever it was, whatever you remember it as, it wasn't healthy where it was at. And regardless of if the person is ever going to be in your life again, you have to let go of what it once was. Because you can't rebuild on this broken tower. You rebuild on this broken tower, it's going to fall again. And if you actually want to reconcile if that's right for you, then you have to accept that 
it's broken. You have to accept that it's gone. I'm just, if you, if you love something, let it go. And if it comes back, it was meant for you. And if it doesn't come back, it was never yours in the first place. That's how I feel about this. Eight of Wands. Um, you might like motorcycles. There's a lot of motorcycles in this deck, but you've got two motorcycle cards, so you might really like motorcycles. Um, with this one, I'm getting... Okay, that freaking, that, that video where that guy comes up to that other guy, this is like my favorite video on the internet, um, so I kind of love that I'm channeling this, but it's like, that interviewer guy comes up to that guy and he's like, how are you feeling? And he goes, oh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a pretty girl, okay. And then, um... He's like, he's asking him a freaking question. I can't even remember this song that he's asking about him about, but he's like, the word's on the road again. On the road again. Uh, and it's like, so, so fucking, I don't know, I don't know the reference. So like, but I don't know. The point is I'm getting on the road again, but I'm also getting the, I'm feeling pretty wonky. So like, and like, this looks like smoke to me. So like, you're not gonna like this. I can tell you're not gonna like this. I think you need a tolerance break from out and and this is above like I put this on top of this, so I think that you need to step away from alcohol, from drugs, from weed, whatever it is, whatever your vice is. I think if you can travel, I think you should just get up and travel. But I think that to do this travel, you need to be sober. I don't know why I'm getting that. I don't, cause like, I don't think people need to be sober to travel, to travel, to travel. But I think you want to go somewhere, and I think you should go there. I think it's really important you go there. But I also think it's really important that you're sober while you're there. And I think that if you don't choose to be sober during this travel, if you don't choose to be sober during this trip the spirit's gonna knock you on your ass so that's just a warning you need to you need to get up and go but you need to be sober when you do it um and I don't like I don't know I'm just getting a really bad feeling about if you are like if you choose not to be sober during this like I don't something really bad will happen so please if you decide to get up and go I think it'll bring you a lot of clarity for your future for your success everything but I think that <laughs> I'm just getting a warning please 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 be sober when you do this if you do this please be sober please 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 because I don't want to see anything bad happen to you I don't even know who you are but I don't want to see you. just please okay I got the ace of wands in reverse so this is what the card looks like. Ooh, look at her nails. They're so pretty. Mine are covered in paint and really need to be cut. So shh, these are not my nails. But they're really pretty. Uh, maybe, maybe, I was talking about self-care. Maybe you should go get your nails done. Or go get glue on nails. If you, if you like to have your nails done, or even paint your nails, I think this will make you feel better. You do your nails I think it'll make you feel better but um I'm seeing potential I'm seeing opportunity um I'm also noticing the sun um the sun behind it so I think that sunshine will help you find your opportunity and your potential I'm also noticing the little like leaves and stuff growing out of the wand so like budding like whatever like 
whatever seeds you have planted, you do have buds growing out of them. You do have, like, your seeds have potential to grow, but, um, not potential to grow. Your seeds are growing, and I don't think you see that, because I think that you're, again, like, you're blindfolded. You can't see that. You're blindfolded, and all you can think about is how fucked up your life is, or how fucked up you feel like your life is, but there's potential and there's growth here, and with the cloud, it really makes me feel like spirits, so spirits backing you, like, your guides are here, your guides have been here, you just haven't been talking to them, they want to talk to you, they want, they want to help you, they want to communicate with you, but you're not listening, you, I, I'm hearing shut up and listen, my ears just clicked twice whenever I heard that too, so like, shut up and listen, your guides love you, they love you so much and they want, they want to talk to you, please let them talk, and I know I just keep like repeating things, but like, I feel like they're repeatedly sending you signs and synchronicities and you're not listening, so I feel like I have to keep repeating myself because that's how they feel. Um, I have the Ten of Cup in reverse. Um, this could have been a same-sex couple that you were like. You could have been the person that you were like. The person, if this was a love interest, it could have been same-sex. Or there could be a same-sex um, union in your future if that's something that you're looking for. Um, you will know if that fits you. But um, the Ten of Cups and it's happy family and the cups are a rainbow so i think it could also mean that you're looking for this union you're you're you want all you want is this happy union with these kids and this person and this beautiful happy rainbow but it's in reverse so i'm just Again, I feel like you're focusing on this person too much. You're letting this person control everything about you. And I don't even feel like you have contact with this person. I feel like this person has completely cut contact with you. And I think that's why you're hyper-focusing on it. But I think... I think the more you focus on it, the more you push this away, the further reverse this gets. You know, you can't reverse a card more than this, but like... You know what I'm saying? Um, so I think Spirit just doesn't want you to focus on that, my love. I'm sorry. And we have the Six of Swords in reverse. I got Six of Swords for the last group. But, um, it wasn't in reverse. But this is a totally different meaning to me now that I'm looking at it for this group. Um, I'm seeing... Interesting. So I'm seeing travel. I'm seeing you. I feel like this is you and someone else traveling. And I got travel over here, so I feel like you're going to travel with someone else. I feel like you and someone else are going... And I feel like you're both sad. I feel like one of you is completely, like, I don't want to say helpless, because no one's helpless, but, like, one of you is sadder than the other. The other one is, like, one of you is completely heartbroken, and one of you is, like, trying to hold yourselves together for the other, I guess. Like, you're both trying to hold each other together, almost. But, um, I don't know. I feel like you know who this person is, and I feel like you know you need to travel together. I feel like you may have even talked about it, and I think that you both should. But I think that, again, it's really important that you're sober during this. Because maybe you were hurt by the same person. And I think that this travel might bring you both clarity and resolution on that. I also think that the 
I think that while you're on this trip, I think you're going on this trip. I don't think it's like a if. I think you're about to leave. Like, I think you should get up and go as soon as possible. Um, note, we are in a Mercury, Mercury retrograde and travel is, eh, it's iffy in Mercury retrograde, but I think, um, maybe after the retrogrades are over, get up and go, or maybe during, I don't really know. If you do what you're called to do, cause like, it's really not that deep, but, um, I think that if you're traveling across water, Maybe you're traveling, you're traveling far, like, different country, different states, but I think that while you're traveling, you're going to be, like, sitting in these swords, and I think that the travel will help you put this and reverse it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Missy Elliot is in my head. Oh, you know, like, the, like, oh, God. Okay, so whenever, like, the, I can't do the noise, but, like, the, 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 the when the song is reversed, the, I just hear doodle bob in my head, and I hear, but it's, like, her just speaking reversed. I don't know why that seemed relevant right now. Interesting. I don't know why I'm getting this for this, because this is never how I've read this card before, but, um, through back of the deck is the Seven of Swords, and I'm really just feeling, protect your home. Before you leave, put some sort of protection on your home. Do some sort of protection spell. Maybe the cactus thing. It's really important that you do this. Okay, spirit, what else we got? Less in the night. End up in this kind of a pickle. So maybe you get over it all and you end up in pickles. Maybe you really like pickles. Spicy pickles. friends you're getting you're, you're opening up to be more as we go and I like that because now you just want to talk you were very shy before so I'm very happy also this is a really good energy like I it started out really dark but these these last two cards I pulled are fucking beautiful Ooh, this one too Okay. Yay, what's the back of the deck? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is really cute and this is really sweet and I'm really, really happy for you. So, <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, which the Wheel of Fortune, it talks about like it's upright, but it can be in reverse, so like. Whenever it's, um, especially with this deck, so, like, whenever it's upright, I see that, like, I view you as this, or, like, the person as this, but when it's reversed, I, re I view you as this, and it basically talks about how, like, like, good and bad karma comes for everyone, so, like, whenever it's upright, it's saying good luck is coming. Whenever it's reversed, it's saying good bad luck is coming. But like both happen. 
because everything is, there's duality. So you have the Wheel of Fortune upright, which means divine timing is at play. Um, you can't force whatever it is that you want. You can't force the outcome that you want. And the more you try to, the more spirit is going to set delays in place. So just work on yourself, be happy, go travel. Go do those things to find yourself and find your soul, and um, divine timing is at play, but you have good luck coming, you have good fortune coming. <sighs> Two of Cups, um, there's a line here, I'm getting Leo energy, um, also the wings, you could be flying, um, but, and I see like two people giving each other their cups, um, I can't stop the focus, I'm on the fucking lighthouse, <sighs> so my friends and I were playing that, like, Wikipedia game where you try to get from one thing to another, um, we were playing it in Discord, and, like, we, we went from Greek mythology to Thanos, which was not hard, because death is literally, like, death, Thanos is, like, the humif- hum- humification? That's not a word. It is, like, human embodiment, or, like, um, his character is represented by- is based on the representation of death in, like, Greek mythology, which- ugh, I got super into that. That was so fun. To, that was a good rabbit hole to go down. But we were playing it, and, um, my friend Anchor- was like, hey, let's get to Lighthouse. And I don't even remember where we were getting to Lighthouse from. But Lighthouse was the hardest thing to get to. It literally took us like 30 minutes to get to Lighthouse. And so I'm seeing this Lighthouse and it's annoying me. The Lighthouse is annoying and I can't explain why. Well, I just did. But like, I feel like that might be significant to you in some way. And I don't know how. <laughs> but, um, yeah. See two people sharing their cups. I see the girl in the white, she doesn't want to trust. She doesn't want to give her cup. She's feeling reserved. But, and I kind of feel like that's you. I kind of feel like you're feeling reserved. You don't want to give your cup. But I feel like you need to give your cup. I feel like giving your cup will bring you prosperity. Give to get. Give to get. That is one of the laws of the universe. Give to get. So, be trusting, be giving, and good things will happen. You are the magi magician. You have power. You are power. You are divine, and you've forgotten that recently, and you need to remember this. I also feel like you might be learning, relearning lessons, and I feel like there are things that are being said. I feel like the things I'm saying where you're like, I knew this. I just, I can't believe I forgot that. So, and like we all go through that. Um, the give to get one thing was actually a huge one for me. And once I re-remembered that, it changed my life. In Page of Cups, you have opportunity. You have this little fishy in your cup. And why is it doing color like that? Oh, blue. It's very blue. Card doesn't actually look like that. I don't know what's going on. Blue and pink. Interesting. Yeah, I literally don't know what's happening right now. This hasn't happened. And I've been filming for like two hours. This is really cool. You should look into lights. You should look into doing lights. Or if you've ever wanted to do lights for like musicians and stuff, you should look into it. I'm feeling really called to say that. I'm also seeing a bunch of water again, so I think getting by water will help you realize your true ambitions. There's also a lot of flowers here, so, um, you might like flowers. And this made me laugh, like, this was so fucking funny to me, because it's like, it's the, it's literally the Ten of Swords, which you got, but it says everything is fine, so, like, you feel like you're in this Ten of Swords energy. You feel awful. You're like, everything is awful. Everything is fine, bitch. You are good. 
Just believe in yourself. Okay. So now, we're in an hour in and I'm gonna pull messages. My message check, it's growing. It's not very big, so I'm not gonna pull a lot because I think it's important for me to um, not give you all of them because that literally makes no sense. That doesn't teach you anything, but I think giving you a few, oh yay, will help you. Also, this started out as a very, like, intense reading, and the energies feel so light now. Like, I was so stressed out and anxious, and now I feel so at peace and happy. So, like, interesting. The last group got that one, too. Which, I mean, there are like five cards, of course, they got that one, but... <laughs> boop, boop. Can we get one more, please? Interesting! That's really interesting. Okay, so you have good luck. That is over the Wheel of Fortune. So I literally said that the wheel is turned in your favor. Um, the Two of Cups, you have Hearer. Um, I wrote this because I'm dyslexic and I didn't, I, it's, it means clear audience, but um, But, um, you should look into clear audience because that's what it means and, um, I mean, my ears always click because I am clear audience. That's how I give messages because, like, the cards just aid. They don't... I am psychic on my own without the cards. The cards just help. So I think that you are a hearer. I think that you are clear audience. You should look into that. Um... Uh, the magi magician card on top of that one, you have trust. So I think that you should trust your magic, trust your intuition. And yourself. And interestingly enough, on top of the page of cups, you have don't trust. Which, with the page of cups, I was talking about lights and stuff. So, if that's something you're actually interested in, whatever this opportunity is you're interested in, if it's genuinely an interest of yours, you should take it. But what I'm getting with this don't trust on top of that is, like, there might be, you might have to work towards it. You might have to find, like, don't go with the first opportunity you get. Don't go with the first person that gives promise of opportunity because there's a bad deal in here somewhere. There's somewhere, there's someone in here you shouldn't trust. So you might have to look a little further. You might have to dig a little deeper. Don't, sometimes people and things are to inspire you and connect you on your path, but they're not actually for your path. So yes, that is that that is all i have for those and now i am going to get into your chat rooms i have this owl by the way i think it's adorable um i don't know and i'm really feeling called to do one scoop for you guys and i don't know why but that is that is what i'm gonna do I said only like that's like a big deal. I think there's a piece of my hair in there. Please. Um that could also indicate a hairy situation that you feel like something is like I feel like you think I feel like you feel like you've done something really bad or like you've burnt a bridge to the point of like never being able to fix it. Like that's what the hair is representative of. 
Yeah, my hair can be a charm too. Because why the fuck not? Okay, so I've got these little guys, which I think of as stars. I think of as like star seeds, but I also put it together and I think of it as a flower. So, like, take it as a star or a flower. Um, shoot for the stars, you are a star. Um, look into star seeds. I've told you that like three times now, so like, you should. But also flowers, like planting seeds, you have planted seeds, and you do have things growing from those seeds, just have faith, have faith in yourself. I also got another star, so like, please look into star seeds. Um, you've got a green bead, a blue bead, a pink bead, a yellow bead, and a pink bead. Two pink beads. Um. These could be colors that are significant for you. These could be colors that um, you like. These could be colors that you're seeing. You can look up the meanings of these colors. Um, these beads I wasn't even intentionally trying to put in here either. Like, I was trying to get the initial beads for the initials. And when I went to get these beads, these ones also like came in here. Does that work? Does that make sense? So, oh, I could also mean like unexpected blessings because of that. And there are five of them, so you could have five unexpected blessings. But you should also look into those colors. Um, I have these little silver bead guys. I have these with this one and this one, which I interpret these as abundance silver. Um, so you have like abundance coming. I feel like you've been stressed about finances too, and I feel like you think that someone else is like financially better off than you and you're comparing yourself to them. Comparing isn't helping. You all have your, like, you both have your own things going for you. Um, you have a butterfly, which to me represents change because butterflies live for about a week. Um, and some butterflies and moths don't even have mouths, like... They do as caterpillars, but um, once they're born as butterflies, they don't. So, like, their entire life's purpose is to procreate and then die. Um, not that that's your entire life's purpose, but what basically what I'm saying is, like, they literally only live for a week. Like, it is a transitional period. So, growth is painful. You get hungry. <laughs> I don't know. That wasn't what I was trying to say. <laughs> now I'm feeling really hungry again, and it, like, it just stopped, and I'm like, oh. So, maybe that did have significance, but change in cycles. Um, glasses, I think that you are taking off the rose into glasses and starting, starting to see things for what they actually are. got this heart because you are loved and your spiritual team loves you you have people that love you you just have to let them in and sometimes you have to accept tough love and we have these crystal waves okay so we have dolomite um this is supposed to be so much easier than it actually was and the last group had so many of these and i was struggling i think i'm getting it a little better now um Black Network beat. Um, um, La 
Labrador. Labradorite. It's very like pastel -y one too. Which I think is interesting because I typically see the darker ones. And Tiger's Eye. I have to look at that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are your charms. This is your reading. Oh, I also have a... Whoa, that was weird. Okay, I was like, do they not want me to do this? I also have a coin to flip, so your yes or no question. Get it in your head, and I will flip this coin. Heads means yes, tails means no. <laughs> your answer is yes. I hope that that's the answer you wanted. Uh, thank you for watching.